Being with us once again and joining us on this channel it's always a pleasure to have you um join us yes thank you very much now we are going to talk about two things two very important things one is uh, or should andrea you the captain of the blasters start our games um at the world cup or like should he be part of the starting 11 of the senior national team the black stars at the world cup that is the big question we are asking you would have to give your thoughts and comments below in the comment section it is very very much important and then the second one we will look at um the black stars likely strong 11 to face portugal based on the game we played on um versus switzerland and how otuado set up at least it has given us a fair idea of what his starting 11 versus portugal will meet will look like at the 2022 world cup and so we are going to look at that particular 11 and then you drop your thoughts and comments below in the comment section of this video this is an interactive video and so um, everyone who is watching should do well to please kindly leave your thoughts and comments below in the things you are going to discuss like this video and do want to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching us hit the notification bell and select all so that every time there is a video you'll be the first to be notified over there thank you very much now ghana versus switzerland yesterday came on okay and then ghana won 2-0 fantastic fantastic game by the senior national team the black stars but one of the surprising elements of that particular game was the fact that um, andrea you started ahead of mohammed kudus as the main number 10 of the senior national team going into the 2022 world cup yes andrea you started jordan and you was on the right side on the left side of the attack and then Barney was on the right side of the attack so it means that um coach otuado somehow some way thinks that look andrea you can still offer something and can start our game our games for the senior national team the blasters and on top of that yesterday he had his 110th game okay 110th game for the senior national team the blasters and he's the most capped player for ghana when you are talking about the black stars the player what boy a lot of matches pan i'm a black stars you know uh, and be the day are you see i'm an okay so and he's the captain of the side also and if you look at how he performed yesterday it tells you that maybe he can still deliver something he can still do something for us okay because yesterday he was not bad he wasn't he, he played very well okay so even as a number 10 so the question is should andrea you be starting our games or not do you think we should have andrea you start our games and bench somebody like muhammad kudos or even if muhammad kudos is playing andrea you can bench somebody like kamal dizulemana or even jordan are you or any of the wingers because he can also play as a winger should andrea are you be benched from the senior national team um the blaster starting 11 or he should be playing and if he's playing should we bench kudos at the 2022 world cup for andre are you to play is that what we want is that what we can do um, this is a very tough one for the whole ghana to decide and so let me hear thoughts and views in the comment section over there i'm sure i would answer this question in the next lineup i'm going to show you about the black stars and the portugal game over there now the ghana blasters will be playing portugal on the november 24th 2022 in the world cup um, game that's the first game of the world cup ghana beat switzerland 2-0 in our last friendly game portugal beats nigeria 4-0 in their last friendly game so nobody will play any any game again we are going to face uh, portugal in the world cup and this is how the supposed um, defense will look it is just like um, the defense that met Switzerland yesterday. Yes, Ad Atizigi is going to be our number one goalkeeper. That is per the report coming from the camp. Atizigi is going to be our number one goalkeeper. That is the reason why against um, Switzerland, he was not substituted or anything. He just played the full game. He is going to be our number one goalkeeper, so he will be in the post over there. And then we have Tarek Lamte as the right back. Tarek Lamte may lose his position, his starting slot to Dennis Odoi because Ghana Black Stars uh, technical team thinks that look he doesn't really offer much um, when defending and against Portugal where they have a lot of sharp um, attackers and wingers like Rafael Leao, Octavio, even the Alatra, Jao Cancelo and um, Rafael Guamerez all of them will be attacking our wingers okay so the Ghana Black Stars team thinks that Tarek Lamte may not be able to um, defend very well and so maybe Dennis Odoi will take his position and so 
that is that is the the reports coming but let's wait and see but Tarek Lamte takes the right hand side and then Baba Rahman takes the left hand side you know I know it will be surprising to you but Baba Rahman definitely takes the left hand side his his position or his 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 yes his position is the same as Tarek Lamte because he also risk losing that position to Gideon Mensa because maybe he's not very good in defending and yes okay especially when he he goes to the attack and coming back to defend um, the technical team thinks that he's not so much good over there and so maybe he will also lose it to Gideon Mensa but um, per the game versus Switzerland and how he played versus Switzerland um, definitely Baba Rahman may be going in as the main left back of the senior national team and then the two central defenders nothing will happen to them that one day I, I can tell you emphatically that nothing will happen because Daniel Amate played very well um, Salih Su Mohamed um, also played very well and um, he's shown that he's a real quality player that we've added to the squad going into the 2022 world cup so that will be the back four of the senior national team the black stars i don't know what your views and thoughts are about this um black stars back four let me hear your thoughts and views uh, over there in the comment section don't forget this is the lineup to face portugal we are making over here and so let's make a very strong lineup for the senior national team the blasters yes you know the blasters went into the switzerland game with a 4-2-3-1 formation or it is a 4-3-3 formation just that you can um, give it some modifications and make it a 4-2-3-1 formation so the two base defensive midfielders will be um sally summit and then thomas party yesterday sally summit had a strong a good a brilliant game for the senior national team the black stars and i am not sure even though elisha who started ahead of sally and uh, thomas party i am not sure thomas party will be benched against portugal no way a quality player world-class player playing at the top level in the english premier league how can he be benched against portugal so thomas Pate um will be partnering with Salah summit over there and then we will have a very strong um defensive midfield base over there and then this is where the question comes should andre Ayu will be played as the number 10 against portugal or muhammad kudus should be played as the number 10 against portugal it is a big question and for me i really don't know why andre Ayu should be placed as no no nothing I don't have any reason why Andrea. It's not hate to Elijah Nana Santi and the Andrea you fans. It's not like I hate the guy. It's not like that. For me, I think that Mohamed Kudus is oh my goodness should be our undisputed number ten, and that is the truth. Even if it's not Mohamed Kudus, I think Kofichre is a better number ten than Andrea Ayu, and that is the fact. So for me, I don't think Andrea you should be. Andrea you can be a super sub, a fantastic super sub from the bench, and that is the fact. That is the truth. Okay, because if he can't play at the number ten position because of Kudus Mohamed and Daniel Kofichre, he can also he cannot also play on the wings because he doesn't have the energy levels to be running for sixty minutes or seventy minutes on the wings. At least in the midfield at, at the number ten position, he can be relaxing and saving energy because you just collect the ball, pass, and create. But on the wings, you'll be running a lot. And he cannot do that at his age. And so, for me, I think that Andre Ayu will be a fantastic super sub for the team. Maybe after some 30, uh, when it is 30 minutes to the end of the game, he can come in and come and give us a lot of experience and energy level. So, Kudus Mohamed will be the number 10 in the game versus Portugal over there. Now, this is how the attack will look. Very surprising. Surprising names. Now, Antoine Semenyon will be the number 9 for me in the attack because look inak williams has shown that he cannot really be relied on as a number nine for the black stars in the nicaragua game in the switzerland game we played and so for me i think that inak williams should be operating from the right side of the of the of the wings okay and so he will bench somebody like jordan ayu again it is not hate if you have inak williams quality as a, as a winger and Jordan are you obviously I'm sure everybody is going for Jordan are you unless you have a, a strong feelings towards Jordan um, is everyone will be selecting in Arkham Williams and not Jordan are you unless you have a strong feelings towards Jordan are you you get a point so for me I think that in Arkham Williams should be operating from the right side and then we have uh, Antoine Semenyo who is very young who is very energetic and very strong can be you know can be given a, a fantastic play as a number nine we have him as our number nine 
Okay, and then we have Kamal Din Sulemana on the left side of the attack for the senior national team, the blasters. This is how the attack or the forward will also look. I don't know what you think about this. But I think this will be a very strong 11 to face the Portuguese national team. And maybe get us um, the win versus Portugal. Because look, we need the win versus Portugal. At least the point will be very good for our confidence in that particular group games that we will be playing. So this is how I think our Black Stars 11 should look to face Portugal. Taking in account um, how the game versus Switzerland went. How Coach Otuado made his... 11 and all of that so let me hear your thoughts and views in the comment section over there whatever you think let me hear it in the comment section subscribe to the channel for lots more fantastic blasters videos exclusive content analysis of games and everything subscribe to the channel like this video and do what to leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section hit the notification bell also and select all thank you very much for staying with us definitely i'll see you in the next update it's always a pleasure bye bye